to the upcoming Israeli elections just a few weeks away, and there's a big development that will certainly shake up the polls from here on out. Two right-wing parties have announced they will merge together to boost their chances of entering parliament and helping Netanyahu rebuild his ruling coalition. The Jewish Home Party and the National Union Party, they're now going to run on a joint slate. Polls indicate it may be enough, but it may not be enough for them to actually get into the next parliament and get at least four seats. According to the latest I-24 News poll that came out right before this merger was official, those parties were just below the threshold line of 3.25% of support. With me in studio is our diplomatic correspondent, Elie Hochelberg. Elie, so now they've officially merged. It's a joint slate. We can open the Kiddush wine bottles. <laughs> so, I mean, will this help them? Will they actually yeah. get over the line for sure now? From here on out, is this going to change the math? Well, first of all, it was crucial that the two will merge to even discuss what further can be done to strengthen the right-wing bloc. Without this merger... Yeah, the Netanyahu has been pleading for this to happen. Listen, there are no ideological differences between those two parties. It was all about political disagreements, who's first, who's on top, who's last, who's number what. And this is something that really upset many of right-wing voters. You know, I've been scrolling over uh, Twitter uh, throughout the uh, past couple of days, and, and hardcore right-wing voters were saying, you know what, if you two, those respective leaders, continue to uh, negotiate and negotiate and will not merge at the end of the day, I'm not voting for you, even though you are my ideological home, because of this political, uh, um, po because of these political disagreements. So this merger happened, and this is crucial, again, if we're talking in the sense of how to make sure there is a right-wing national bloc. But does it give Netanyahu, um, uh, certainly he's breathing a sigh of relief, yeah. but does it give him that majority, the magic number of 61 seats, if yeah. they get... If, does this party together, do they need four appears, seats? Do it, they need seven seats? It appears to be enough, the okay. mere fact that they will cross the election threshold, but there are still other uh, small right-wing parties that can merge further and make sure that it's even above the, uh, the bare minimum. So it's not over yet, but this move was absolutely crucial for Netanyahu. And this is why he was so, not just emotionally engaged, but rather invested efforts and resources and sent his own people to make sure this merger will happen. The pressure helped, and now the right-wing bloc can... Breathe a sigh of relief and move forward. Something of that but, sort, But just yeah. a few days to go before the deadline for, for political mergers, yeah. we have this one. Could there be a left-wing merger, other mergers in the days to come to try and... Because now it's getting serious. We're just days out yeah, from that deadline. The, Do you think this is the only merger, or will there be something else? Well, again, there's a, another small right-wing merger that might happen on the left side of the political map or center-left. It doesn't seem that way at this point in time, but it will be very cautious because it is politics and everything can happen. Yeah. The Labour and the Merits Party, left-wing Merits Party, are unlikely to merge at this point. And also, the big union that was in the making for so many months before elections were even declared on, uh, when, when we talk about the really the heads or the patrons of the center-left bloc, including former Prime Minister Ehud Barak, trying to unite all of those forces together, Benny Gantz, Yair Lapid, Labour Party, Tsipi Livni, to m create this massive power that can counter Netanyahu has failed, so we're unlikely to see this huge, strong center-left yeah. bloc. Smaller mergers might well, might very well happen. All right. Yeah.